What's good YouTube? I'm Louis. Welcome to my channel Louis Laces. I'm back with another in-depth review for you guys today and we're going to be taking a look at the Air Jordan 3 Midnight Navy aka the Georgetowns. <laughs> These released on the 27th of March and retailed for £164.95p and then my second W this year on the sneakers app. I'm going to get into that a little bit later but for now let's just get into the review. I'm going to start with the box. You've got your average Jordan 3 box with the elephant print on the front and then the colour of the colourway and the shoes inside with the white Jumpman on top. Inside, elephant skin print again on the paper, and inside there, you have your Air Jordan 3 Midnight Navy, aka the Georgetowns. Now if any of you've watched this channel before or watched my um, Heat All Week or my the review I did on the Air Jordan 3 Cool Greys, you'll know that the Jordan 3 isn't one of my favourite silhouettes on a Jordan. But this has definitely broke that barrier down. I absolutely love them. The colourway is ridiculous. I just absolutely love it finally got a free that I really like so I couldn't be happier about that so I'm going to work my way around the shoe guys like I always do try and get a detailed look so you guys can really see what's going on with these Air Jordan 3 Midnight Navies so we're going to start with the sole you have this light grey colour the whole way around the perimeter and it just runs through the middle on the toe of the sole you have this Midnight navy blue circle with the grip circles running through it. Down the bottom of the sole, we have this white patch with the midnight navy Jordan writing running through the middle of it. Moving round to the midsole, we have this fresh white colour all the way around. With the grey just running up a bit at the front and also at the back. We have the air bubble either side which is grey inside we have this midnight navy blue shiny strip all the way around the heel of the sole the midsole working our way up to the upper we have this tumbled midnight navy leather all the way around that's on the toe box as well we have a strip of normal leather around the side and wraps around the toe box in that midnight navy colour again. We have this grey suedeish material with the little perforated holes at the side of the laces and that wraps around the side and comes around the heel under this tab. On the heel itself we have the elephant print wrapped around that moves up to the rubbery, hard rubber, midnight navy blue tab with the white Jordan Jumpman logo. The laces, that pure white colour. And they do actually come with a midnight navy colour lace as well. The tongue, that lovely grey suede with the midnight navy blue jump man. Inside, we have this grey cushiony material as the lining. And the inserts are the midnight navy colour 
with a white jump man on it. All these colours together for me makes for an absolutely perfect shoe. Really, really, really into this colourway. I think it's perfect. And so happy to have a, a Jordan 3 that I really, really like as well because it's always been a struggle for me to find one. I did have the UNCs, but I ended up selling them just because of the way they looked on my feet. I, just, I think it's not actually that I dislike the Jordan 3, it's just the way they look on my feet. But these, I don't know, there's just something a bit different about these. I can't wait to rock these. Now, I wasn't actually going to purchase these, to be honest with you, because I've took so many L's recently on raffles and the sneakers app. I just felt a bit deflated by it, and I thought, Do you know what? I'm not even going to bother trying to get them. I'm just going to leave it for now. But me being me, my impulse buyer, my inner impulse buyer came out on the day these came out, the 26th of March, last Saturday. And it was about, I think, what, they come out at eight, about quarter past eight. I thought, I'm just going to look on the sneakers app and and see how they're doing, because obviously I knew they were going to be on there. I'm going to put a clip up as well. I think it was literally like 16 minutes past eight, went on there. They're normally like by 10 past eight, five past eight, you know, you will all know if you try and cop on the sneakers app, they're completely gone. I literally went on there, um, went, to my, went to purchase, went to my size, which is size seven, but I remember the last time I had, um, when I bought the cool greys, I feel like a seven run a little bit blocky, a little bit big on these. So I went for the six and a half, submitted it and waited in the queue for literally seconds. And then got them. Like, what? I just thought that's mad. Like, I never, ever managed to cop on the sneakers app, ever. This is um, the second time this year. This is the second time I've copped. I managed to get the Jordan Carmine sixes back in February. So I was just like, to be honest, I was actually in shock when I got them. I, I couldn't believe it. You know, you guys know what it's like to get a Jordan for retail these days is near on impossible. I actually don't know how people are doing it all the time. I've won a few raffles on uh, END, uh, capital E-N-D on the app. Um, and yeah, this year I managed to get the Carmine 6 as well. But other than that, Never win on the size raffles. Feel like my luck is just terrible. Um, and I've managed to get a few shoes on the official Nike app. But other than that, yeah, like I have to pay resale a lot of the time, which I hate doing. So yeah, that was just, uh, it was crazy to be honest. I really didn't expect it, but it was great at the same time. I'm gonna get into the on foot for you now, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from me. And other than that, guys, as always, take care, stay healthy, stay positive, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Fire.